Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Priyanka Kumar. I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you so much for stopping by for this reading today. And this is a very popular subject and I've done it only twice so far. But however, um, both the times it has gotten a lot of views and a lot of comments and uh, this video is something that is doing very well. So I'm assuming it's a popular video. Uh, so today the reading is going to be about um, what's their karma for hurting you. A lot of people in relationships or any kind of relationships, it's not mandatory that it has to be a romantic relationship. But most often in relationships, what happen is that uh, we go through certain situations and we feel that people have hurt us a lot. So we somewhere intend to uh, see that even they realize their mistakes or uh, we somewhere have a deep feeling of wanting them to know what it is, right? So uh, this is a reading about that and we will see uh, what what happened to them or what is their karma for hurting you or um, many things and we will see whatever questions that may arise in the reading today. We will take a look at all of them in detail. All right. Uh, and if you are looking for a personal reading, you can connect with me on my WhatsApp or on my Instagram handle. Um, you can find all the details in the description box below. And if you like the candles that are used in my videos, these are made by me. These are uh, aromatherapy candles and uh, they are made with 100% organic soy wax. Uh, and also most of the ingredients that are used in this uh, making are uh, zero waste and organic. All right. So uh, which means that they can also be used uh, for intentional based meditations also. All right. So if you would like to purchase that, my website is linked down below in the description box. You can check it out. All right. So let's not wait further. Let's begin with the reading. And we have three piles as usual. Please don't be confused by pile one and three. The colors are slightly similar. However, the pile number one is the light blue color flower. Okay. The second one is the pink color flower. And the third one is the white color flower. Okay. So you can take a pause. You can take deep breaths and see which pile is that that resonates with your situation, whichever that you're mostly attracted to. And if you have more than one situation and if you feel that uh, you are being called upon or being pulled towards uh, two or uh, all of the piles, you are more than welcome to take a reading. Okay, so let's begin with the reading. Welcome to pile number one for those who picked the blue color flower. <clears throat> let's take a look at what is the reading for you. Okay, we have the six of wands, the nine of pentacles and also the nine of wands okay <clears throat> so what's their karma for hurting you i'm sure you have a person in mind and a situation in mind that has led you to ask this question of what is their karma for hurting you <coughs> so to begin the reading with i see that um their karma for hurting you is that they are unable to get over the past scenario completely However, this person is trying to move forward. They are trying to uh, balance their life. They are somewhere in deep search of answers as well. And this person is also trying to be happy at a certain level. I see that um, this person has tried to move on, but that is not completely happening then. And the situation, whatever that you went through with this person has left a major wound in their life. Okay, this person has gone through uh, things that has not healed them completely at all. And I see that this person is trying to stay ignorant of the situation. They are trying to understand if what they did was right or wrong. And it is that maybe there were a lot of arguments between the two of you and they are not happy. Okay. Although there is six of wands and the nine of pent pentacles, which is a happy card. I see that this person is just putting up a face of showing happiness to the world. But deep down inside, I see that they are still struggling and financial issues may also be a burden to them. The relationship what you had between the two of you has given them some kind of a trauma, I can say. The trauma is such that they are uh, in a situation which cannot be let gone off so easily. This person is fighting a battle within themselves 
and it is that uh, to the world they may show that as a victory <coughs> excuse me but it is not a victory okay there is a sense of failure that this person uh, feels there is a sense of um, disappointment and somewhere this person could have been cheated you and it may feel like they are not being loyal to you okay so there are a lot of mixed feelings that this person is going through it looks like they are looking for achievement or they're looking for recognition for the work that they do but they fail to um, it may be just that in in the in in the eyes of other people they may just show themselves but to themselves they cannot see them uh, i hope you understand what i meant it's just that to the world they may portray that uh, it's actually going very well and they've achieved a lot of things but to be honest in reality uh, they are unable to face themselves okay it's it's that kind of a situation that this person is going through okay and um <clears throat> uh, what else? Let me pick up more uh, tarot cards. Mm -hmm. Let me pick up tarot cards for... What else is there karma for hurting you? What is there karma for hurting you? What is their karma for hurting you? Okay. Okay. Somewhere this person is uh, <coughs> wanting justice. Okay. I also feel that this person, uh, they take the responsibility for themselves without a doubt but they also feel that uh, there has to be an equal give and take in the connection okay uh, they have they which is fair enough is what i feel because this person feels that why am i the only one to be blamed in this situation why the other person is not taking equal responsibilities for it okay so that is the uh, situational uh, crisis that i see uh, in this connection so they have a feeling that this can reconcile again and they want to be again with you and their karma for hurting you is that i would say that there is a very positive note on this uh, reading which means that this person feels that everything was karmic it was meant to happen um it was in a way that <coughs> they felt this was necessary for the both of you to keep growing forward okay i don't see that this is the end of the relationship or uh, it is the end of um, the uh, what do i say it is it is the end of uh, the connection as such but there will even if there is a separation actually even at this point of time i don't see a separation but it's just that they have hurt you for something and you want to know if uh, if what they did was uh, right or wrong okay um what i sense from this energy is that this person deeply loves you and their karma for hurting you is that they want to fix things with you okay uh it is that uh kind of a uh, reading where i mean it's a kind of a uh, energy where i see that um it's about this person wanting to make things better it is about this person wanting to actually um you know uh be with you to make you feel emotionally contentful satisfied or <coughs> even for that matter they want to uh make you happy perhaps okay 
they definitely consider you as a blessing okay because you also have taught them a lot of things in this connection it is not just about uh, hurting each other here but that hurt is very little because this person has moved past okay that situation of course they may talk about it at times or they may tell you that in the past you did this and it bothered me or you may keep saying that often and things like that i'm not saying that topic is completely vanished but it is that this person feels that that things could have been better in this situation okay so uh, or maybe uh, instead of making that better you cannot change the past but at least uh, you can fix things is what this person feels okay you can fix things you don't have to actually separate for that one for that one little matter of uh, whatever happened it's about uh, they them feeling more confident so your hurt made them realize how powerful they are how confident they are and what kind of blessing you are that they never want to lose you and it it made them realize that you uh, you taught them the meaning of life or how to how to be more graceful more joyful be more nurturing and caring and understanding the empress and the lovers card very important in this reading okay so th these are the lessons that they have learned for hurting you you know it's a it's a very good karma that they've they've learned many people don't realize the mistakes that they do but in your case they have realized and they want to be in a certain way so that's the beauty of this relationship here i would say okay so uh definitely it's it's good karma i would say uh for whatever is happening in your connection okay i'll pick up one last advice card for you in this situation okay let's not get into more questions because let's see what is the advice card for you i see that it's the card of loyalty your reliability demonstrates of loving sense of devotion and consistency of being <coughs> i'm sorry i still have a little bit of uh, cough so here the card of loyalty is only here to tell you that the kind of love and devotion that you have towards a certain person and the way that you are loyal to them proves to them about how deeply committed you are to this person see if you are deeply committed in love or in any matter you wouldn't want to deviate from them right so probably it's an advice for you that probably just because you feel that um uh you know uh, they hurt you and you don't want to be with them it doesn't mean that the other person will not hurt you with how many ever people you are any kind of relationship it definitely involves a lot of hurt but it's about how you take care of that how you receive it and how you can uh, how how much uh, faith that you have upon this connection that no matter what happens it will stay unwavered the love that you have for them the commitment the devotion that you have for them is what matters so probably this is an advice card for you that just because they hurt you don't move away from this connection just be loyal to them and show that you're consistent and your devotion is very pure towards this love and things will be wonderfully well between the two of you all right so that's all i have for you in this reading i hope this helps if this reading resonated please do let me know in the comments i'd be more than happy to hear from you and i will see you again in the next reading take care and have a good day bye bye welcome to pile number two for those who picked the pink color star let's take a look at <clears throat> what is the reading for you what's their karma for hurting you what's their karma for hurting you what's their karma for hurting you i'm sure that you already have a person and a situation in mind okay we have the death the king of wands the nine of wands okay i'll also pick up three more cards from another deck what's their karma for hurting you We 
Ace of Cups, the Queen of Wands, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> So what's their karma for hurting you is that see nine of wands kind of repeating in from the first pile even the ace of cups is repeated actually okay just give me a second I have a little bit of OCD and the cards are not aligned okay <clears throat> so what's their karma <coughs> <coughs> sorry What's their karma for hurting you is that I see that your person is trying to be strong. They are trying to change. Opening a reading with the death card here tells me that this person has had a deep impact on them to majorly change in their life. Okay. Uh, their karma is that you came into their life to change the patterns of their behavior. Okay. To change many things in a major, major way. I will not get into what they were in the past but I will tell you what they will be in the present moment and what realizations that they are having and what karmas they are having okay you uh, they hurt you uh, but that situation changed them in a very powerful way I also see that there could be an influence of another person upon this whole connection and that could also be karmic like um i would say that some some evil eyes could be there on you uh, and this person probably uh, the kind of bonding that you have the kind of uh, understanding that you both share the other person probably is uh, would be jealous of how you are okay so this person made them realize that this person also um, has realized how strong they have to become and how much they have to move past in a situation okay this person has understood that holding on to the past will no longer serve them any purpose and they have come to a conclusion of <clears throat> moving um moving past that and considering that see even in this situation they consider you as a blessing that came uh, because they were able to transform themselves so much see this is a major card here and this is the major thing that is happening with them because of the uh, karmic thing that is happening okay so death here card only means that the kind of changes that had to happen in their life was needed and that happened only because of the hurt that they gave you maybe they react overreacted in a situation maybe they you it was an abusive sort of a thing or maybe <coughs> maybe it's that uh, the kind of behavior that it was was not suitable to a lot of people around them and they were easy going and people were taking them for granted whatever that they were going through in that situation okay it is that it's it's this is a wonderful possibility for them uh, to change you know uh, that this that is the whole biggest karma here that this karma is that they, it was a huge possibility for them to change and they are embracing that change they are happy with that change they are also understanding very deeply in this connection as to how it is important for them to uh, inspire other people to be strong to be more loyal to be more uh, to be more practical you know in a situation and to keep up the spark alive is so important in a relationship so all of these things they are able to realize only because of the situation that went through in your connection okay so that situation what went through plays an important role and another uh, important karma that uh, they are going through uh, because they hurt you is that they are able to manage their finances in a much better way now okay they are able to manage their finances and uh, they are able to take in charge of the uh, emotions that is there in this person okay it has a positive influence i would say the the way that they were looking at money or the way that they were um, uh, looking at everybody 
else around money uh, that perspective has changed for them okay so there is that balance and that balance is being managed with a lot of grace it is that uh, it is being handled very beautifully that balance okay it is it is of course an infinite loop and it is on and off that is going to be there always but this person has understood how to manage the ups and downs of life gracefully and even when there are money issues also okay so that's that is the karma that this person is going through and this is a very very positive influence uh, of this situation upon this person okay i'll pick up one last card for what is the advice for you in this situation we will not look into in-depth reading of that but however we'll see what is the advice that is there for you in this connection what is the advice for you okay <clears throat> The card that we have is trust. You have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition. So here it is important that you trust this person. There could be a possibility that you are in separation with this person because uh, of the changes that they are going through. But you need to trust this person completely. And also this is a reminder that you have a very strong intuition. So that intuition has to become even more stronger and have faith. Because the what faith that you have is what gets manifested in reality. Right. So it's important that you trust this person, you have faith and also when you send out the vibrations of having the strong uh, connection, it will become even more stronger. So you need, to, um, you need to understand that just because this person is away for you, from you for a little while and I also mentioned somewhere that it could be the influence of another person or an evil eye that's, that's been cast upon the two of you, right? So just because there is something like that, it doesn't mean that they are in a third party situation or they are, they're completely gone away from you. No, there's nothing of that sort. It is just that you need to trust this person completely and have faith in them and when you send out such vibrations definitely this relationship can shine much more brighter okay so that's all i have for you in this reading i hope this resonated if so please do let me know in the comments i'd be more than happy to hear from you and i will see you again in the next reading take care and have a good day bye bye welcome to pile number three for those who picked the white color flower let's take a look at your reading <coughs> let's see what's their karma for hurting you what is their karma for hurting you i'm sure you already have a person and a situation in mind and you're wondering about what is their karma for hurting you Okay, we have the devil, <coughs> the hanged man, and the three of cups. Okay, I will also pick three more from a different deck. What's their karma for hurting you? What is their karma for hurting you? Okay, we have death. No, okay. Huh. A lot of low vibrational energies. I wouldn't want to call it negative, but it is low vibration. Okay. So what's their karma for hurting you? Their karma for hurting you is that this person is unable to stay without you. There could be separation, there could be uh, a lot of depression, anxiety, whatever that you may want to call it. This person is going through pain. They did not do what they did because of um, them but it could be a third party situation this person is trying to be happy however it's not happening there is a lot of mood swings in this person 
and with the devil card here and the death card here hanged man card here the moon card we have four out of six major arcanas i'm sorry i had to uh, pause the video for as i was somebody at the door uh, so as i was saying that uh, this is also a sign that there are there is a lot of disturbance in this person's mind okay they are unable to live life peacefully they are unable to sleep peacefully and this is somewhere a toxic connection it may be on and off but somewhere there is a very strong bond that holds the two of you together that no matter what they do they cannot let go of you the, this person is trying to change themselves change their behavior uh, become a better person and they are they are making efforts okay not that they are not making efforts but there is so much karmic pattern that is accumulated in them that they cannot uh, they cannot do what they really want to do you know uh, you might have come across situations where uh, you plan to do a certain things on a particular day but nothing goes according to your way that is nothing but sometimes the accumulation of the low vibrational karmic patterns that doesn't allow us to do certain way but some days you would have noticed that things go very smoothly very uh, so for some people it's very easy to uh, be in a certain way like they want something and it just happens to them out of nowhere right and we call this luck it's actually not luck but it is the karmic pattern that they build for themselves that is what that matters <clears throat> this person has too much of mood swings okay some days they feel that okay i have to get over this i have to make this better i have to fix this and they try to be happy they try to mingle with a lot of other people they may party they may go out but end of the day again somewhere it reminds them of what they did and it haunts them okay this person also feels that uh there is a kind of addiction that is there and it's very unhealthy they know that the kind of addictions that they have is very unhealthy for them it can be uh, it can be trapping their own self it can be it can be it can stop themselves from moving further ahead it can stop themselves from actually becoming a better person it's like that they may have some kind of uh, behaviors that way okay so they may not be able to get over that also so that is haunting them way too much so that is uh, another important reason uh, um, important karmic pattern that this person is going through and with the hangman card here it's just that they feel that you know they were too much carefree uh, they should have been a little more careful with whatever was happening in the situation and you know um, they are blaming a lot about themselves they are sabotaging themselves and they they becoming more stubborn uh, you know some people when they hurt they don't realize as to the kind of words or the actions that they're putting across but later when they when the same pattern repeats to them or something else happens in their life they tend to understand that that point of time with what they did to you and to live in that guilt is very very difficult so that is what this person is going through they are they are actually trying to put an end to all this they are trying they're trying very hard you can you can see all the low vibrational dark cards are here right they're trying to throw in some light in their life they are uh, i feel the energy of you know them getting frustrated in that zone and they just want to get out of it and get free but that is not happening that is the problem here they are it's it's just not working out for them as to <coughs> how they can improve or how they can make changes in this connection at all so it's it's actually bothering them a lot it is bothering to an extent that uh, they're having sleepless nights you can see that clearly they're trying to organize their thoughts but sleepless nights is just uh causing them more and more trouble it's just that they need a better perspective of life but that perspective is happening slowly stage by stage things are getting revealed to them and they don't have that ability to even think clearly something major has happened between the two of you and um 
they're also blaming themselves a lot there's a lot of negative self talk okay there's a lot of negative self talk and uh, they are waiting for an opportunity to make this situation better okay but i don't see that they are also getting this opportunity also that is another issue here anyways <clears throat> let me pick up one last advice card for you this person is suffering a lot guys i would say it's my personal advice that if you can connect with this person try and heal them at least they may be able to get over it faster okay the card that we have is harmony you are able to feel a loving balanced connection with everything i just said that right harmony if you ever get in touch with this person or if you can connect with this person i think you should forgive first when you forgive them there will be a lot of high vibrational energies that will be sent to them when you just forgive them and don't say that you cannot and for what they did but this person is actually suffering as a humanity uh, based on that at least you know nobody should go through so much pain and so much of hate from the other person i would suggest you to uh, forgive this person and send loving vibrations to them so that um, make harmony make peace with it it's it's a it's a very small life it's a very brief life and it's 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 a it takes a very big heart and it it it's truly gifted uh, as humans we have the ability to forgive each other and and be satisfied and 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 help each other in our soul journeys right uh, that is only possible through a human being so let's not just cause too much of uh, issues here and also i believe that both of you were destined for this situation to happen okay it is not that you did something he did something she did something no everybody who were involved in this situation things happened for a reason and it's important and it is karmic it was it was destined to happen that <clears throat> on the soul level every every one of you agreed to make this situation happen so that you all will learn lessons from it it is not just them to be learned but also for you to be learned also okay so that's all i have for you in this reading i hope this resonated if so please do let me know in the comments i would be more than happy to hear from you and i will see you again in the next reading take care and have a good day bye bye